Hi, I'm Nikki Murphy. I'm Paul Kim. And thank you so much for coming out. Welcome to the first night of Seek, uh, Baltimore's new Korean film festival. I'm hoping this is going to be an annual event, so it's going to get bigger. Uh, we're partnered with uh, Maryland Film Festival. Um, and this is our first year, so thank you so much for coming out again and being here with us. Uh, over the course of two nights, we're screening two features films. Tonight. And uh, before we go on, we have an uh, opening uh, remark video from First Lady Yumi Hogan, President Sammy Hoy, uh, Ben Stone from... Um, Station North Station. Arts District. Yeah. And then um, uh, Patrick Wright from, from MICA, who is a uh, director of the film program here. And uh, they're just going to tell you about, you know, what we're trying to achieve with this whole festival. So, hope you enjoy. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sammy Hoy, President of MICA. I wish I could be with you tonight. Regrettably for me, I'm away on a work trip. I welcome you to MICA campus. 
We are so excited about tonight's event that bridges communities and cultures through film, discussion, and an art exhibition. I am so very excited as current MICA faculty member and the former students to see this wonderful K-Film Festival come to life in our own campus. This wouldn't have been possible without the dedicated staff and the volunteers who have made this event possible. So the arts and culture and film in particular, as well as many other forms of art, are really absolutely crucial and really important for bringing together different communities in Baltimore. Um, 2015 was a pretty tough year in Baltimore, and one of the ways in which different people came together, whether it's Korean American community, African American community, white community, all different segments of Baltimore, was through the arts and through film. And Station North is really being in the center of Baltimore City has been the, um, the crossover point for so many different communities and cultures in a place where a lot of different people can come together and get to know one another, not just as uh, demographic statistics, but as actual human beings with unique cultures that are um, interesting to explore and share. I mean, I think film as an art form is a extraordinary art form because in this country, it's so accessible. I mean, it's far and away the largest art form. You know, more people buy movie tickets every year than attend every major sports event. You know, we think about movies as entertainment, but my expectation for this event is to transcend culture and just have an opportunity to open a conversation with each other. I think two things, the cinema and film, it really is one of the, um, the, I would wager that is it is the popular art form. It's I've never met a person who doesn't watch something on television, in film, and it's the kind of it's it's the one art form that really connects us. Intercultural and cross-cultural communications, sharing and understandings are critical to our increasingly global and diverse society, and especially in a city like Baltimore, where many communities coexist. Tonight's Kate Cinema event will present two films that immerse the audience into different worldviews and different environments, and hopes to open up conversations and explorations. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
So um, I think we'll get started by what are the takeaways from this film? You know, spring, summer, fall, winter, and spring. Well, it's um, it's a great Buddhist parable. Because I, like I want to talk about the rooster. The re one of the reasons that I love about this movie is it's very symbolic, mm -hmm. but it's very indirect and very subtle, which is very Korean. Uh, so I'm not a great resource on Buddhism, but mm -hmm. there are, I think, three truths to Buddhism, and one of them mm -hmm. is that life is suffering, mm -hmm. and so that constantly comes mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. in the practice of Buddhism with monks, and that was mm -hmm. a very visual mm -hmm. representation mm -hmm. of it. That's what I, I do love about this movie, mm -hmm. that they externalize that suffering mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. such compelling ways, and it... Mm -hmm harkens back even to the Greek myth of like pushing the rock up. Speaking of the director, um, can we talk about, th th yeah. this is the only film I've seen of him. Oh. So who, can you give us a little background? On I mean, he's, uh, he's well known. I mean, if you're in the film business or if you love film, you know, he's a very renowned Korean film director. You know, he's from Korea, but he's very hated in Korea. So it is very true that his film is difficult to watch. That's actually a better way than being hated in Korea because he doesn't mind filming some disturbing scenes. Very direct. But Korean culture is not very direct. They, they emphasize harmony, saving face. You know, those core values are very important. And he is Korean, but he studied in France. Okay, so art house films, can we, is that, you said people basically are, seeing it on Netflix and don't know that they're looking at it. So it doesn't, is it a moot point? I mean, basically our house films, mm -hmm. where that term came from was basically, we took, we, actually me and Nikki, we were talking about is, it was actually a specific theater that, I guess, that shows movies that are hard to distribute or they, you know, do subject matter that's, I guess, not appealing to the mass public. We're gonna look at a, a quick five minute film by Paul Kim. And then we're going to resume this conversation. My pers this is a personal piece for me. And it, is, it was my struggle with identity. But it's really about embracing who I am. And also to everybody here in this room, just embracing who you are. So let's talk about Korea. In Baltimore. Um, well, I guess I'll start just with the yeah. origins of yeah. Seek. And it came when um, Michelle Lee, again, he's hands up to her and everything she's done, approached me and asked, well, what do you think about if we um, do a film festival, film event that's Korean oriented? Because we have such a powerful Korean community here that often goes untapped or they, they stick to themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and part of it's been coming from like Baltimore Soul to Soul, is it's, mm -hmm. it's connecting with other communities. Mm -hmm. um, but let's do it through film because everyone talks about Korean thrillers. Everyone talks about the blockbusters, K-pop, mm -hmm. K-pop videos. Mm -hmm. um, and that's partially where the Seek Came, idea came from, like we always put the K-Town, K-Pop, and I was like, well, let's mix it up, put it at the end, C, K. Yeah, um, I live in Washington, D.C., so it, it, this was a really wonderful opportunity to visit here, and I'm deeply impressed about the event. So it, 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 you can audience can join in, too. I'm just very interested that we, we spend some time talking about what's happening here locally, as well as we bring in films from the, the global community and certainly the, uh, the Korean community. Uh, in South Korea. I guess to talk more on um, where we can take this, I mean, there, I, I just, the sky's the limit. I would love to connect this also to the Korean American Film Festival in New York, because we have some connections already there. Maryland Film Festival, um, really huge supporters of this. So one of the significances of this kind of event is you actually have a chance to talk about it, what it is, what, what, what we mean by culture. Right? We say you know, small C versus big C. Small C is more like values, your core values, something that you can see it, whereas big C is more like a clothing, your food, language, something that you can see. Thanks, everybody, for coming out, uh, and thanks for staying around to hear this uh, conversation.